Hey guys, it's Vaughn and welcome back to another favorites video. I'm glad you're here. This video is technically going to reflect favorites for March, even though we're almost fully through April, but you guys know how it is. As long as we get it posted this month, we can still claim March. So for today's favorites, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a bunch of fashion items that I have been loving, as well as some beverages. I know it's kind of random and one skincare item that I wanna share. So first and foremost, let's talk about my look. My jeans and my top are from Fashion Nova. My shoes are from Zara and I believe they still have them because this is from this season and my hair you guys yes so I did some jumbo knotless box braids I was really excited to do these because these are kind of my favorite because I can do them really quickly and I used a different type of hair this time of course it's the two-tone right with the black roots and the ash blonde at the bottom and this is the hair I used I kept the package so that I could show you guys it's the three times expression hair and it's in the color 1b at the top and then the bottom is 613 so it's kind of like that fade into the ash blonde which I love so much because as much as I love the ash blonde color I don't think I would be able to pull it off all the way to the root because I just wouldn't really know how to blend my dark colored hair in with it so I really like getting the two-tone hair because it just gives you that kind of fade out look super super cute you guys like if I had to describe myself in a bag of extension hair it would be the two-tone ash blonde hair like this this is your girl like this is Vaughn like this is Vaughn <laughs> now this hair is saying that it's 58 inches but that is a lie this has got to be like two and a half feet of hair and so that does not equate 58 inches. So I don't know what they are talking about. But anyway, that's the hair if you guys are interested or were curious. And my lip color, you guys, I'm wearing a minted cosmetic lip color. This is in the color Foxy Brown. I really like this color because it brings out my eyes because it's pretty much the same color as my eye. Let me show y'all. The only thing I don't like about this lipstick is that it moves around a lot. So when it goes on, it has kind of like a shiny kind of satin finish and it moves, right? So I have to blot like two or three times before even coming on camera in front of you guys because I don't want you to see lipstick on my teeth. So that's the only thing I don't like about this particular one. But other than that, you guys, Minted is great. They have a lot of different shades for brown skin, right? true nudes for brown skin and things of that nature. So if you have not checked out Minted, you definitely need to because you will absolutely find something that you will fall in love with. And then you'll be mad at me because I sent you over there and you spent all your money. <laughs> yep, and I can't tell you guys about my fingernail and toenail polish because it's a no chip. You guys, I finally went and got a mani and a pedi the other day with my sister. She talked me into it. And y'all know I don't ever go to the nail shop. I haven't really been in like, years right I used to get the acrylics and all that but I haven't done that in like 12 years so she was going because she gets the gel nails and I was like well I guess I'll go with you I might as well get like a little mani or pedi and it was pretty good usually I don't go because of the fact that I'm such a perfectionist when it comes to my nails and I never really get to experience that level of perfection when someone else is doing it but this place actually did a really good job and it really boiled down to them really knowing what to do with the cuticle and being really neat with the polish and she even was so nice as to give me some cute little designs on here so I was pleased with it I probably will go back so I don't know you guys I might be um, a getting my nail done in the salon type of girl after all. So we will see. Okay, let's get into some favorites here, all right? So first and foremost, let's start with the skincare. I just have one product I wanna share. It's super, super random. It was a random buy from Walmart, and it's just this Neutrogena Soothing Clear Turmeric Mist. Now, what drew my attention to this is, of course, it's the turmeric, right? And I drink the turmeric shots that I get from Jamba Juice, but I never thought to use something like this in my skincare. It kind of reminds me of like the effects of a toner because I typically will put this on my face right after I cleanse and right before my moisturizer. So you know how like when you wash your face sometimes it feels a little dry, a little crackly and you just, you can't wait to get your moisturizer on because you feel like you're losing moisture. Well, that's what this product kind of does. It kind of bridges that gap between cleansing your skin and getting it all purified and getting rid of everything on it and putting things back into it like your moisturizer and everything else as a part of your routine. So I really like using this. It has a real subtle fragrance, almost kind of lemony, right? It smells a little citrusy. So it really just hydrates and refreshes freshes your skin and just kind of gives it that burst of moisture that you need. And this is recommended for stressed and acne prone skin. I really, really love that. You guys know that I've been kind of on a hiatus from drinking alcohol and coffee for probably the past couple of months. So as an update, I've still not had any coffee because I'm just not interested in the caffeine, just haven't even missed it at all. So coffee is kind of like <laughs> off the docket right now. I can't speak for the future, but for right now, not interested. But for alcohol, I did have um, some drinks when we went on our vacation and I've had a couple of drinks you know since then but for the most part I've been kind of avoiding it so I've been drinking a lot more water right and so to keep things interesting in the H2O department I've been trying a lot of different mineral waters and I'm really excited about this Topo Chico I know I'm late you guys I know but 
I'm just now trying this, okay? I'm usually a San Pellegrino type of chick, but I saw this in the grocery store one day and I was like, it was on sale, first of all. So I was like, well, let me just try this. It's on sale, it'll be cheaper. So this is just a carbonated mineral water, you guys, but it has such a good flavor. It's a really good tasting water and I don't feel like I need to add anything to it right away like I will with kind of like the San Pellegrino. Like it actually tastes a little bit better than Pellegrino. I gotta say like, it's definitely a contender, right? This can compete with Pellegrino. So I would definitely say if you're trying to kind of like diversify your water intake, give them a try if you haven't already. If you guys already drink Topo Chico and it's your jam, let me know below. So speaking of San Pellegrino, right? I wanted to try their little sparkling drinks. So, so good, you guys. This one is the lemon and raspberry. What I would say about this is that it's a great alternative to soft drinks because this is not a soft drink. It's just sparkling flavored water. It's got 3% lemon and 3% raspberry and then some other natural flavors and blah, blah, blah. But it's so, so good, you guys. Now, it's not you know sugar-free, right? So you're not off the hook by drinking this, but it is a much better choice versus like Coke or Pepsi or something like that if that's what you're looking to do. For me, this is like more of a treat and it's really refreshing, a great summer drink. And it's also, if you ask me, a great substitute for alcohol, right? For me, it's kind of like in the same category as ginger beer, very, very close. So everyone else is having their Moscow meal, you know, you can drink this and still kind of be in the same groove and vibe as everyone else, just minus the alcohol. You guys know I've been kind of on this new fitness regimen and it's really been paying off. You know, I've been avoiding alcohol and coffee and I've lost a total of 10 pounds just like since my birthday. So I'm really, really happy about that. Now I've definitely been putting in a lot more work, you know, physically in the gym and with my workouts and everything, but I must say, you know, eliminating some of those unnecessary sugars have been really paying off. All right, now let's get into some fashion items. I wanna show you guys a brand new bag that I got. I'm really excited about it. It's this Tory Burch kind of hobo style bag. You guys, it's so new, it's still got the stuffing on the inside and I haven't even taken the plastic off of the little emblem here. But I just got this the other day from Nordstrom Rack, you guys. I saw it over there in the distance and I was like, I see a black leather bag with some gold shiny stuff on it. What's that? So I went over there and I saw that it was Tory Burch and I just fell in love completely, you guys. Like, just love it for sight. Such a nice bag. I love the texture of the leather. And of course I love the gold detail. You guys know I love shiny metals and things. And I've really been kind of on the hunt, in my mind at least, for a really nice black you know, handbag. I have a lot of Louis Vuitton because you guys know I love LV and all that stuff is brown. I feel like when you try to get a different color from LV other than the browns, you have to like wait for it. It's on back order, it's in production, all this different stuff. So they're really highly sought after. So I've really just been wanting like a basic black leather bag and I really just love how the strap is the perfect length so you could carry it as a handbag but you could also low key get away with putting it on your shoulder if you really needed to. And my husband's in the bathroom there. You might as well say hi, hon. <laughs> so anyway, um, you guys wanna see the inside? Let me show you the inside. Well, it's got the paper all in there, but there is a pocket on the side, and there's a zipper pocket on this side, the cute little gold plaque on there that says Tory Burch. So it also comes with its own dust bag. Let me see, I didn't even see this. Oh, it comes with this cute dust bag. What a cute little gold thing hanging off of it. Super cute. What else is in here? Okay, moving on to another fashion item, you guys. I wanna show y'all these shoes <laughs> that I got from Gucci. No, well, they're Gucci shoes, but I got them from Nordstrom. I wore these on one of the days when we were on vacation, and they were the most comfortable shoes I could have brought. So these are the Gucci GG Matelasse Platform Espadrille. And that pretty much just refers to the quilted kind of print stitching that you can see throughout the pattern on the shoe. They've got these really long ribbons that you can tie all the way up your leg if you want to, or you can wear them like I wore them, and just kind of bunch it up around the area right above the ankle. I really like the way that looked, especially with some shorts or a skirt or a dress. It's super cute. That's what I really love about platform wedges. You get that height without the discomfort. Because of the material of the platform, this just has such a nice summery look. You could just wear this all summer if you want with so many different styles. It's very, very versatile. The fact that it has that black leather detail with the gold GG hardware, it really gives it that kind of high-end look. You can really take any simple look up a couple notches by pairing it with these shoes. And I brought this out because I wanted to show you guys that it does match with the um, GG 
AG Marmont a shoulder strap bag. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but yeah, it kind of goes together. So I did wear them together. You don't have to, of course, but I did. And let me just say one thing. All right, I went to the website today to check um, the name of this bag one more time because I knew I was going to be mentioning it in this video. And they went up on the price. And I want to share one more pair of shoes that I'm really excited about. They're brand new. I haven't even really worn them out yet. And here they are. They're the Christian Louboutin, AKA red bottoms in the style So Kate. And I got the black kind of suede-ish texture ones. And you guys, I am absolutely in love with these and I would be remiss if I did not share them in my favorites. So I haven't worn them outside yet. As you can see, they're super, super brand new. I haven't even taken the stickers off the bottom yet. But I wanted to share them with you all because I'm so excited about being able to wear them when I actually get a chance. The fit is so, so nice. Now they're a little bit uncomfortable, of course, because look at that heel. I think that's the 120 heel, all right? So it's super tall and that arch is not playing no games with you or your mama. But it's super sexy, you guys. And when you put them on, you have like the little toe cleavage at the front. Like any outfit is gonna be taken up a notch or two or three once you pair them with these shoes. The thing about uncomfortable shoes is that, yeah, you know, it happens, but at the end of the day, if the shoe is durable, it's going to get you through the night or the day. They're not gonna fall apart. And so that's what you can count on with these Christian Louboutin shoes. They're not gonna get destroyed. And I wanted to go for the So Kate style because um, I have um, a couple other of the pairs of Pagali, which is pretty much like the contemporary version of the So Kate. And so those are really nice and I can walk in those all day for the most part. But I wanted to take it up a notch, you know, and go a little bit taller and a little bit more risky with the look. I would say also, this would be a really good selection if you're purchasing a pair of Christian Louboutin heels for the first time. You wanna go with something really sexy and stunning like this because it's really gonna stand out and you'll be able to really show off a nice high fashion look with these. All right, so now we're coming to the part where I share my wine and beer selection of the month. Like I said, you guys, I haven't really been drinking, but I did have one really good drink recently and I'm gonna share it with you guys. So excited about this, you guys. If you know me, you already know what this is and you already know that I enjoyed it. <laughs> if you're new or you have never heard me talk about this beer before, this is my favorite beer in the whole wide world. This is the Goose Island Bourbon County brand Stout. It is one of the hardest beers to get your hands on and it just happens to be my favorite. And this is the 2020, right? Because it comes out every Black Friday. So they just released a batch back in November and I wasn't able to get it because I was not willing to play any kind of games, ring around the rosy, jump off any kind of cliffs. My mom actually came across an area where I guess they don't give a damn about Bourbon County and she went into the Benny's and they had a case. Now they were selling them one by one out of the case, which is what they do, they're just price gouging. So this beer was actually $12 which is ridiculous, but at the same time, really good because the aftermarket price for these beers could easily be in the hundreds of dollars. I've seen people pay a ton of money for these beers because they're just so hard to get, especially the proprietor's blend, you know? So I was just so excited that she got me this. She surprised me with it, brought it over. I was like, oh my God, you got Bourbon County. I was like, I'm not supposed to be drinking, but let me have a sip. <laughs> it was definitely worth it. This is a delicious beer, you guys. It is so good. If you are into dark, rich beers, you will absolutely fall in love with this beer, especially stouts, which are my favorite. And you guys know I love barrel aged drinks, right? So this is definitely one of those beers that was aged in a bourbon soaked barrel. And when I tell you Goose Island just does it right, like all of their barrel aged beers are really delicious. This is just their poster child beer, right? But they have a lot of other ones that are really good too. Goose Island just gets it. And they're Chicago based, but they're getting ready to expand. But anyway, that's another conversation. <laughs> but yeah, this one has some intense aromas of charred oak, vanilla, caramel, and smoke. I love when they bring in like those really good flavors like the caramel and the vanilla, because for me, that's the kind of stuff that belongs in a stout, right? An imperial stout it really helps to develop those smoky flavors, like that bourbon, it really just goes really well together. And you can age these for up to five years. So I know people who have, you know, Bourbon County from like, you know, four and five years ago because they can last just that long. They never last that long around me, but I'm just saying, you could keep it that long if you needed to. Yep, and in case you were wondering, this beer is 14.6 ABV. And my favorite way to enjoy this is served in a snifter and I am just on my way to chill mode, okay? So thank you mom for getting me this. I really enjoyed it as always. All right, you guys, so that is it for my March favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you got some fashion inspiration, some ideas on some new products you can try. And I love you guys so much and I thank you for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.